Okay, I'm Shingo Kasahara, okay, I'm Japan. I'm a cardiac surgeon. I'm just talking about that uh, uh, recently, the very rare about that uh, uh, tetralogy of follow after the repair patient. Usually, to the tetralogy of follow is uh, dying very rare because of that the surgeon is good hand and also uh, pre diagnosis is much better. And then, but this one is uh, very simple and also. Uh, um, very much occasion to that every cardiology, every uh, cardiac surgeons do that uh, uh, this operation. But uh, I'm not sure that the patient uh, why that died. I'm not that details. I'm not sure. But I just uh, talk about that uh, explanation about the anatomies. Uh, we usually thinking about that anatomies and before um, thinking about that heart specimens. Have a look to that. Uh, outside aspect. Which side of the left side? Which side of the right side? I put on the normal side. Surgeon is usually to that, uh, this one. But uh, and the heart specimen have looked to that uh, this one is much easier. Then at first, and uh, identify the right side atrium, left side atrium. That the shaping is very important. What the difference of that the left side atrium? What side of that, what the uh, shape of that uh, uh, life side atrium. This one is uh, operated and uh, life side atrium. Life side atrium is that uh, appendage, uh, triangular aspect, comparing to that uh, left atrium, like here, finger like, and then a uh, little bit small. Left side is a left atrium. Light side the light atrium, situs solitus. That the beginning of that the explanation about that the anatomies. Then uh, have a look to that aspect of the uh, relationship of the great vessels. This one is a big tubing system from that the uh, heart, and another aspect is some operation in the somewhere here, and then uh, big tubing in the somewhere here. This one is uh, some branches there. First branches, brachiocephalic trunks. Next branches in the uh, left carotid arteries. Third branches, left uh, subclavian arteries. Next three bases there. Usually first branches, uh, brachiocephalic trunk should be uh, left aortic arches. And then uh, probably big one is that I identify the aorta. Big aorta, uh, something happened to that the pulmonary arteries here. Aorta is that the uh, right side, then behind comparing to that the pulmonary arteries. Pulmonary arteries, left side, then anterior. That's a normal relation of the great arteries. Have a look to the C, um, situs solitus and should be to the great vessels relationship is okay. Then have a look to the inside. Um, uh, otherwise, to that the coronary arteries, uh, maturation is very important. And uh, light coronary arteries and the big branches are closing to uh, light, uh, light outflow tract or not. And then uh, left descending area here and the posterior to that uh, uh, circumflex or not. And um, have a look to that it is important. And then open the light atrium here. And this is a little bit smallish one. Uh, inside the light atrium, um, very uh, important anatomy is here. Usually to that, uh, should be to here, uh, SBC. Should be to here somewhere. IBC is here. And uh, foramen ovale or uh, uh, ASD already closing. And then uh, another uh, things, can you see the whole? Uh, coronary sinus is here. Coronary sinus, and then have a look down to that uh, light ventricle, septal tricuspid leaflet, anterior tricuspid leaflet, and then uh, posterior tricuspid leaflet somewhere. Coronary sinus here. It's okay. Coronary sinus is here. Can you move big one? Can you move big one? Zoom in. 
This is coronary sinus. Septal tricuspid leaflet here. This one, triangle of cock. And the top of that triangle, this one is an AB node. This one is a very important area for surgeons because of the summer conduction tissues who are very important to closing the BSDs. And sometimes the tetralogy of furrow, big ASDs there, in such a situation, smallish the tricuspid valves, smallish light ventricles as well. But uh, combined to the tetralogy of furrow, big ASD patient, small tricuspid annulus, small right ventricles, concerned about that biventricular repair. And then have a look open to that uh, right ventricles here. And the right side aspect of that the tricuspid leaflet, very interesting. Septal leaflet, just attached to that uh, interventricular septum. Not so uh, uh, big uh, papillary muscle like a uh, mitral valve. Then have a look to the inside the light ventricles. Uh, thick trabeculations. Many, many thick trabeculations is there. And this one is uh, already operated. This one is a BSDs. Uh, this one is a continuous stitches. Uh, usually, uh, uh, this one is a uh, thick daglon patches there. But we cannot see that uh, uh, overriding to the aorta, but we can u e easy to see open the right ventricle to aorta is we can see that easy. Usually to that the BSD patient, normal BSD patient, we cannot see that uh, aortic valves, but that tetralogy of furrow, we usually to can see that uh, uh, aortic valve. That's the reason why uh, aorta uh, shifted to that anterior side. Overriding it means. And then a um, little bit difficult to see that uh, this muscle, trabecular septum marginalis. And then this one is uh, uh, near the infundibular septum, trabecular septum anterior extension. And then this one is a posterior limb as well. Between the tricuspid valve and the aortic valve, ventricular infundibular fold. Usually to that to close the BSD, very important to uh, avoiding a uh, tricuspid valve regurgitation. And uh, some cases through the tricuspid valve, the stitches through the tricuspid valve to uh, BSDs. But uh, if the, we identify the ventricular infundibular fold that we can use to the muscle after that uh, tricuspid valve regurgitation very minimal. So uh, tetralogy of furrow, it is very important to identify ventricular infundibular fold muscle using to, uh, uh, for uh, BSD closure. Then have a look up to that the pulmonary arteries. This one is an uh, infundibular septum. Probably uh, some uh, cutted muscle is here. Infundibular septum, anterior deviation, behind to the aorta shifted to the anterior. That's the reason why infundibular septum anterior deviation cause of the subpulmonary stenosis. And this one is a somewhat open uh, uh, transandular patch, put on uh, this one, and then operate it. But uh, still a uh, very thick light ventricle, still high light ventricle pressure and uh, cause of that uh, arrhythmia or something, I'm not sure this patient. And then uh, usually to the, we cannot see that uh, left ventricle aspect. Left ventricle is here. Usually to that uh, tetralogy of furrow, left ventricle is uh, normal, but a little bit smallish. And then much different to that uh, inside aspect of the uh, left ventricle comparing to the right ventricle. Very fine trabeculation, but uh, uh, some thick of that uh, muscle is there. And also uh, uh, mitral valve is uh, very thin. Then uh, probably uh, this one is a little bit smallish the left ventricle, a little bit cause of that uh, uh, heart failure after the repair. And then uh, come back to that uh, 
uh, aspect of that uh, outside. Very important to that uh, left side and right side, which is which, in that uh, beginning of the explanation is much better good understanding for anatomies. Thank you very much. Thank you.